flower bomb Let me guess your favorite fragrance And you got that bomb <laughs> I'm trying to detonate you everybody welcome back to my channel it's Gabrielle Elise and I am back with another video today is going to be a haul I am going to be showing you guys all of my products that I have for my nails currently um, as you may know I'm currently teaching myself how to do nails my latest video is me doing my first wool set on myself so make sure you go ahead and check that out don't forget to like comment and subscribe to my channel turn on the post notifications so you'll be notified every time I upload so let's go ahead and jump right into it. I'm going to be going over the stuff that I have in this nail case. Um, I don't really know if this is, you know, for nail accessories or nail products or whatever, but my grandma gave it to me a couple years ago and I just never had a use for it until now. And as you guys can see, I did my own nails and the products that I use to do these nails will be a part of this haul. So stay tuned and let's get into it. Okay, so first up is my um, Kiss Acrylic Nail Kit, and this was what I used in my first, my last video, which is where I did my own um, acrylic set on myself. I had like a purple mauve nail color, and I used this acrylic set. This, you guys might have seen it in stores. It's sold in Walmart, Walgreens, CVS, things like that, Target. Uh, it comes with the powder, monomer and it also comes with scented drops because the monomer is extremely strong and it comes with nail forms a buffer uh tips it came with a cuticle pusher and a brush as well for your application and i want to say it came with something else oh it came with nail glue as well and nail primer um all of that stuff isn't in this box right now as you can see there's some empty spaces but this is what the nail primer looks like and they all say kiss on them so you know i know what belongs to the kiss acrylic nail set and what doesn't and i have not bought another primer outside of what came with this nail set so i've been using this even when i haven't been using the whole kit by itself so this is the monomer and i also bought just monomer and powder by themselves after i bought this um kit because i don't think I didn't have the kit with me at one point and I needed to do my nails or do somebody's nails or something like that. And so I just went ahead and bought the monomer and the powder by themselves. They came in a pack by themselves at my local um, beauty supply store. And this is the glue that came in the, what am I trying to say? That came in the package. I'm not putting all that stuff back in there, but I just wanted to show y'all what it looks like. It also came with a dampen dish. And this is what I've been using for the most part for all of my nail sets that I've been doing. It's really tiny. Um, at first it got the job done, but I'm looking for something bigger right now, like one of those glass um, jars or glass bowls to put my monomer in. So I think that's all for the nail, the Kiss Acrylic Nail Kit. Next is these scissors that I bought. These were from Amazon, and I will have all the stuff that I bought from Amazon linked down below. Um, these are scissors that I bought to trim my tips once I put them on. I did have a um, nail cutter. I don't know if you guys have seen them, but it's it's a nail cutter. I'll show it to you because I have another one, but it, one of mine broke. So I needed something to cut the um, tips down with, so I ended up buying these. They were like $6 on Amazon. And I also have this nail brush, which helps me clean off my dead skin and what's left over from my cuticles. Once I've um, gotten them off with the brush, I go ahead and clean my nails with this brush. If I have stuff under my nails too, like dirt or anything, this really helps get the um, dirt from under my nails. And I got this at the beauty supply store as well. It was like $2. My brush, this is my first brush that I um, ordered by itself. It's an actual, um, I forgot what the, the bristles are called, but it's that type of brush. Y'all know what I'm trying to say. <laughs> it's, it's supposed to be like real hair or something like that. I don't remember, but it says Kamisi. It's a Kamisi brush. I got this off of Amazon. It was like $20 and this is a um, size number eight. 
<laughs> this brush is a number eight. My boyfriend shaking his head at me because I paid $20 for this. But anyway, this brush is a size number eight and this did not come in any kit. I bought it individually on Amazon. Like I said, okay, I said it's a size eight, but it says size 12 on here. So it's not a size eight, it's a size 12, duh. Um, I used this once and I used it for these, this, for this set that's on my nails right now. It's kind of all right, y'all, I'm back and I figured out my lighting. As y'all can see, it's like 10 times better and brighter. And now I can see. I can see clearly now. Okay, so back to what I was saying. What was I talking about? I just finished talking about this nail brush, right? I got this from the beauty supply store. And I also just finished talking about this nail brush that I did my nails with. This is an acrylic nail brush. And like I was saying, it's a size 12. I got this off of Amazon and it was roughly $20. I went ahead and laid my edges, y'all. And one of my favorite things that I've gotten for my beginner nail collection is not this. I picked up the wrong thing, I'm sorry. Um, this like duster that I can dust off the acrylic and um, dust with. It's been very helpful just getting the excess dust off my nails right before I wash my hands, stuff like that. Getting the dust from off my hands. And it's just really cute. Like, she's got rhinestones. I don't even remember. I'm not going to lie. I don't remember where I got this from. I want to say it came in a kit. But I'm not 100% sure, y'all. I'm really not. I'm sorry. But this... If it came by itself, it didn't cost me more than $5, I'm gonna just say that. But it probably came in a kit. I think it came in a kit. So the only two kits that I actually have was an acrylic kit, kit that I bought, which was from Walmart, and it was like $18. And then the other kit that I got was from Wish, and it was $20, I think. It was like $20 and like $8 shipping, something like that. And the only downside to that was it took like a month and a half to get here but it was coming from china and i didn't really think about that when i ordered it so that was kind of bad on my part and while i was waiting for it to get to me is that's when i ended up getting the kiss acrylic kit from walmart so um a lot of the stuff in this video is going to be coming um it's going to be a part of the wish kit that i bought i did buy a drill so y'all this is my drill my handy dandy drill and I got this off of Amazon as well. Like half this stuff came from Amazon. It was either Amazon or Wish that I got this stuff from. And this is what she looks like. It's from the brand Yafex. And it's kind of, let me see, it's the size. So it's like the size of my palm, pretty much. A little bit bigger. And it's easy to hold. It's like writing with a pencil or a pen. The cord is fairly I mean it's short but it's manageable I usually just plug it into an extension cord and work with it that way it's not super long I didn't really expect it to be extremely long anyway it did not come with a I call it a brick it didn't come with a brick so I just um, plug it into the wall with my iPhone brick and this is the I, I guess you call this the adapter. I'm not really sure. But this is where you change the um, speed on the notches. This is the speed notch. And then this is the forwards and backwards notch. And then it lights up right there when it's on. So, yeah, that's my drill. And it also came with the sanding bands. It came with 50 in this little bag. And it also came with the um, Jiro bits. Let's see. And it came with six different ones. And I, um, if y'all have any advice for, you know, how often you're supposed to replace these or how to take care of them and clean them, please let me know because I'm really not sure. Because I'm new to this, okay? One of the best things that I could have bought is this cuticle pusher and scraper. It works like a charm. It really does. I bought it from the beauty supply store and I think this was like $4.00. It really, it works very well. And it says, what does it say? Nika? It says, <laughs> says y'all, it says like Nikki, but with an A. Y'all can't really see that. But it says, I don't know how to pronounce it, but it's a New York under it. So, I don't know. Anyway, on to the next. This, this is a good product. I'm happy I bought it. 
And then I bought these um, clear nail tips. So the only nail tips that I had prior to buying these were the ones that came in the um, Kiss Acrylic Kit. And I did not really like them. They had too much of a curve to them for me. I wasn't really feeling it. So I went ahead and bought these. And I'm not going to turn them too much because they might fall out. But they're clear and they come in 10 different sizes. And I've been loving them. I've used them. I use them for these nails. And... You know, I'm still a beginner, so the nails aren't perfect, but they do look good from afar. <laughs> okay. And, yeah, I'll probably use this and buy another one and just keep using them because I really like them. I do not really care for the ones that came in Kisses Kit. I also don't really like the monomer or powder that comes in Kisses Kit either, but... Yeah, so that's that and now we're gonna get into my wish acrylic nail kit this was supposed to be like the beginner kit and um, it came with like 20 different things in the kit so that it also came with glitters so this is all loose glitter um this is the glitter that I use on my fingernails for this set which honestly it, it it was kind of hard to use. It got all over the place. I would definitely prefer to buy um, an acrylic group. I can't talk. I would prefer to buy an acrylic glitter because this is just really messy and it takes up so much time because you have to pour the glitter and then you have to encapsulate it. And you know, I know that most nail techs probably do that on a regular, but baby, for my first time, it took me like three hours and I just was not happy. Like, yeah, so I mean, my nails came out fairly cute, but it just was a long process and it was kind of hard, but I got it done. Um, I used a, the clear, I mean the silver glitter was right here. That's what I used. And this is all the other loose glitters that are in here. And then it also came with these um, two little bowls i guess you could call them this is what i've been putting my monomer in this is what i used to put my monomer in for when i did these nails um i guess you could put like monomer on one side powder on the other i don't really know what the exact purpose for it is but that's what i chose to use it for and then in this kit it came with three different acrylic powders it came with white pink and clear and so far from this um wish kit i've only used the white and pink and i'm not a fan of the white personally it just looks like white out to me and you know like i said i'm a big so this is what their um powders look like on the outside this is what the little bottles look like and it's called it says cosiella and this is what's on pretty much all of the products that came in this kit is that name and then um, it's like Chinese characters characters under it. The kit also came with these white tips Haven't used those And it also came with clear tips as well. I'll probably go through after I probably test these out just to see how they are before I'm done with my big acrylic I mean big acrylic with my big Nail kit that I bought. I'll probably try the white ones and see how well they work But I'm not really a fan of the white tips. So Probably won't use those. It came with four different nail buffers, or not nail buffers, nail files. Came with four different ones. Um, two of them are 100, 180. I have yet to find a 100, 100 nail file. So that sucks, but this is one of the nail files. It says Cosiella on it, like everything else that's in the pack. And then it also came with these um, design design grabbers i don't really know what they're called rhinestone grabbers that's what i'm gonna call them but they're for when you're doing designs and using rhinestones and i use them for my nails for this set as well i use this that's why it's not in a little plastic thing because it came in a plastic um cover and then this set also came with a smaller brush i guess for like details detailed things it came with like cuticle little cuticle sticks and cuticle pushers you can use these for other things but it came with these i haven't used these because i bought i bought these cuticle pushers from walmart just because it was like 80 cents so i was like why not 
this is what I was talking about when I said I had a nail cutter that broke before I bought. The one that I previously had, I bought from Amazon and it broke. It, <laughs> actually, yeah, I bought it from Amazon, but it came in my um, pack with my nail drill. It was like a gift, I guess. It came in my nail drill and it was at the bottom of the box. So that ended up breaking and in this kit from Wish, I got this one and I've only used it once, but so far it's worked pretty well. You just put the nail in there and then you push down and it'll slice it and cut it. Pretty simple, pretty easy to use. I really hope that one doesn't break because I like these. It came with like instructions, where's the instructions? It came with instructions, but I've seen other reviews where it said it came with these same instructions, but does not include the same stuff. So it's not just me that received the wrong instructions, if you get what I'm saying. Because it has like um, a nail cure, cure um, light, UV, LED light right here, and that's not what I bought. So, and there's no other options for the packaging or the um, kit that you can get. So it's definitely the wrong instruction. But. This kit also came with a practice finger. I have not used any practice fingers or hands to um, like plastic to practice nails on. I've just been using myself and other people. So I probably won't use this because it just doesn't feel realistic to me. I feel like I don't really have much of a use for it, but who knows? I also got a smaller nail brush that came in the kit. This one's really tiny. And like I said before, it just helps with getting rid of the dead skin and um, cuticles. And with another cuticle scraper, it came in this kit. I haven't used this yet because I have the other one that I like better. And this kit also came with nail forms. So this is what they look like. These are the nail forms that came in the kit. And the ones that are in the kiss kit look the exact same. They're the exact same nail forms. They don't look any different. So that's all for my wish. Um, oh, actually, no, it's not. Last thing is these rhinestones. These are what I use for these nails right, that I have on. Is the little clear rhinestones that are at the bottom of the bag. They also have color, like flower and different shape ones in there, but I probably won't use that. Oh, and then this is the clear glitter that I use for my nails. It's not, it wasn't in the box that I took it out, but. And then the last few things are things that I did not buy um, with the Wish Kit. I just bought them by themselves. This is the Mia Secret Monomer, and I bought this from Amazon. It's a liquid monomer. This is a four ounce bottle, and I believe this was $20, and it should last me probably like three or four sets. So I feel like it's well worth the money because it's also a really good brand, and I love the monomer. It's really strong, but it probably was also because I was doing it in the basement, so don't be like me. Don't do your nails in the basement, but yeah this works really well and the last thing that is a part of this haul is my cuticle oil i bought this from the beauty supply store and it was $5.99 and it's been doing my cuticles very well okay it's been keeping them moisturized and i love it so yeah that's it for this haul thank you guys for watching um comment below what other videos you would like to see and don't forget to like and subscribe make sure you turn on your post notifications and I will catch y'all in the next video. You look as good as Opus Buck.